Hey guys, the objectives for this video are to explain and derive the relationship between load, bending, moment, and shear, and to explain its significance with respect to a UDL. So let's first look at a beam with a variable load acting on it. So W is equal to F of Z, so that force F over the length is going to change. So we'll first take some incremental cut on this beam. So we'll take one cut there and one cut there and we'll take out this section and have a look at that. Now hopefully um, from previous videos you will remember um, how to draw positive shear force and um, negative bending moment and positive bending moment um, when you take a cut on either side of the beam but just in case you don't when we take a cut um, on, the, on the left hand side so we're leaving the left hand side our shear force positive is going to be down our bending moment positive is going to be anti-clockwise. And the opposite is going to be true if we take a cut um, on the right-hand side. So we're going to have positive shear forces up. So that makes sense. It's got to balance out the shear force on the other side. And then clockwise positive um, bending moment. So we'll label this M and we'll label this V. So that's the bending moment M shear force V and now we're going to move over some very small incremental length DZ.